Y'all see this? The original Bible. King James Version. It's old and messed up, but this 16th century Bible. Look how heavy this is. Watch this. Y'all y'all hear how loud that is. Look at that. Look, look, look. Original Bible that opens up like this. And this is the all original pages. And not only that, y'all remember the Apocrypha? I told y'all that was a part of the original Bible. Here it go, right here. The Apocrypha. People that thought I was tripping. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. You see it say Matthew? Well, ain't that New Testament? Hold on, wait, wait. Let's, let, whoa, whoa. Look, look, look at that. What that say? You see, y'all can't even see it like that. Well, but anyway, I just got a whole. This is a look. What that say? Scriptures. The official scriptures. Huh? Did you see that say? Timothy. So y'all know this the King James Version. This is the one that had the Apocrypha in it already. The original Bible. Look, 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 look. First Corinthians. Acts. Not only that. Look, it got the original pictures. I see. Original day, black man, black man, not white, black man. Okay. Original Bible. It's all told what this supposed to be in the museum. I came across this today. He blessed me with this, and it keeps going. Look how thick this is. Look how thick this old Bible is. Look, we went through all of them, all of the scriptures. Look how thick this Bible is. Original one. Keep it I am. I'm finna close it now. Original. That's how you know it's this old century Bible. Look how toe up it is. It's old, old as ever. It look like a curse book, but it's not. Original King James Bible from slavery time. Yeah. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 52, verse 8. Bring it out. Thy watchmen shall lift up the voice with the voice together. Shall they sing? For they shall see eye to eye when the Lord shall bring again Zion. Read it again from the top. Thy watchmen. Thy what? Thy watchmen. Thy who? Thy watchmen. The Lord said your watchmen are out here in the last days, man. That's right. Your watchmen are sent to, sent to warn you of the destruction and the danger and the judgment that's coming to the earth. That's right. So the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you're being warned in these last days. Your warning is that America's about to be destroyed. Right. Your warning is that World War III is coming. That's Your right. warning is that Jacob Trouble, which you know as martial law, they got FEMA camps set up for you, concentration camps set up, 30,000 guillotines ordered over here. All hell is coming to you so-called Black, Hispanics, and Native Americans. And your job is to take heed to the warning that the watchmen are giving y'all. So if you do not take heed, you're going to die here in America. That's right. So you have to repent in these last days and return back to your nationality as an Israelite and keep the laws and commandments and the faith of the Lord. Right. Yeah, I was shot. Read it again one more time from the top. Thy watchman shall lift up thy voice. So we lifting up the voice out here. Then the Lord say, cry aloud, spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet and show my people their transgressions. Right. So we showing you where you going off at. Keep the Sabbath day. Stop buying and selling. Stop being a homosexual. Stop dealing with the women of the other nations. Stop being effeminate, right? Stop dealing into other philosophies like Islam, Christianity, Catholicism, man. All of those things are going to get you destroyed. And we're warning you right now. You have to take heed to this warning or you will die in America. Right. So the watchman shall lift up the voice. Go on. With the voice together shall they sing. Right, and we singing that song. Give me Revelation chapter 14 and um, 1. Bring it out. On the top, man. Go on. For they shall see eye to eye when the Lord shall bring again Zion. Now give me Ezekiel 3 and 17. So as we lift up the voice, our people are seeing eye to eye. That's why you have millions of Israelites waking up around the world, man. That's right. You got people from, from Detroit coming up, brothers from Delaware, 
brothers from, from around the world are waking up. Kenya, Australia, Germany, England, France. Because the watchmen are lifting up their voice and is making Israel see eye to eye. That's man. right. The Lord said he would turn the hearts of the fathers to the children. Let's see come and smite the earth with the curse. Bring it up. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 3, verse 17. Bring it up. Son of man. I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. I have made thee a what? A, a watchman unto the house of Israel. I have made thee a what? A, a watchman unto the house of Israel. The Lord made us watchmen unto the house of Israel, man. That's right. We stand up and we see the prophecies that the Lord is going to do on the earth, and we're warning the people. Bring it out. To thus said the Lord, man. That's right. Armageddon is coming. World War III is coming. That's right. These wars are coming. And we're warning you before it happens. Bring it out. Lord. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. So our job is to give you warning, man. You understand? We see the truck coming and you playing the traffic. If you don't get out of the road, you're gonna get hit and die. That's right. You understand? Go on. When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die. die. What's gonna happen to the wicked? Thou, thou shalt surely, surely die. die. What's gonna happen to the two thirds of our people? Thou, thou shalt, shalt surely die. die. So after the Israelites and so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, the people on their side, if they don't repent, they shall what? Thou, thou shalt shall surely die. die. They will surely die. The Lord right. didn't say you might die, you could die, you should. He said you will surely die. That's right. Right? Because you refuse correction, you refuse to hearken to the words of the Lord in these last days. Right. You'd rather be a nigga, you'd rather go up and buy and sell and break the Sabbath, you'd rather be wicked, you'd rather be a transgressor, but you do anything except to keep the laws and commandments, man. Right. That's right. why the Lord said you will surely die, because you've been warned. That's right. You've had your warning. It's not our first time coming out here. The Most High has proclaimed the truth out here for decades, man. Right. And everybody on the earth has had a chance to hear the truth. Drop that. Hold, before you go to that, go to Romans 10 and 17. Read it again from the top. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Go on. Therefore hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. Read. When I say unto the wicked, thou, thou shalt, shalt surely die. die. Read. And thou givest him not warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life, the same wicked man shall die in his iniquity. Read. But his blood will I require at thine hand. So the Lord, if we didn't come out here and warn the people, not only are the Israelites gonna die, but we gonna die too, man. The Lord will, will require our blood, because our job is to warn the people, man. We see the judgment coming. We see the prophecies happening, man. We see what the Most High is bringing on the earth, the wildfires, tornadoes, earthquakes, volcanoes erupting. The EU breaking off from the United States. We see all of the prophecies coming to pass as it is written. And if we do not warn you, not only are you going to die a miserable death, the Lord is going to require us to die too. That's right. Go on. This is the book of Malachi, chapter 2 and verse 7. Bring it up. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. For the what? For, For the, the priest's lips shall keep, keep knowledge. knowledge. So what's the knowledge that the priest, we're the priests of the Most High. Right. How do you know that? Go to Exodus chapter 19 and 6. Bring it out. The priests are the elect men of the children of Israel. That's right. right? The hopeful elect. We're the priests of the Most High because the Lord has sanctioned the Israelite men to be priests. That's to teach right. the laws and commandments, which is the knowledge of the Most High. So our lips have to keep knowledge. We're not out here speaking folly, other philosophies, false doctrine. We're telling you what the Most High said in his book, man. Right, man. Everybody believe in the Bible. Everybody got a Bible in their house. Everybody got the scriptures open. They got the app on their phone. When we read, thus said the Lord, nobody want to keep the commandments, man. Right. That's right. Right? You got these false pastors, these false prophets. But the Lord said the real priest, their lips is going to keep knowledge, man. Right, Give me right. in Exodus 19 and 6. <laughs> Look at Exodus chapter 19, verse 6. Bring it up. Oh. And ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests. A what? A, a kingdom, kingdom of, of priests. priests. We a bunch of niggas. A, a kingdom, kingdom of priests. priests. So the Lord said these people on their sign, these men that the Lord called to proclaim the truth in the last days, they're a kingdom of priests, man. So these kingdom of priests, their lips keep knowledge, man. Their real knowledge is the word to the most high, man. Right. Go on. And they holy see. nation. Read. These are the words. Which thou speak unto the children of Israel. So to the who? To the, the children, children of Israel. Israel. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, the children of Israel. That's right. He's speaking thus said the Lord to you. That's right. Brother, you know your nationality? Repent. Brother, you gotta repent or you're gonna die. See, He's Jake wanna have die. a good time. He is gonna die. That's what repent the Lord said, man. Give me Luke 13 and 3. She don't know what's going on. He's not going to die. Give me that Luke 13 and 3. Nice that man bad. will have a miserable death if he don't repent and keep the commandments. That's right. She sound like the serpent and the God. Right. Luke 13 and 3. That's exactly what she sound like. And she been talking to the serpent. I don't understand what Luke, you guys Look at Luke chapter 13 verse 3. Give me Daniel 12 and 10. I tell you, nay, 
But except ye repent. But what? Except ye repent. repent. Except what? Except, except ye repent. repent. What's going to happen? Ye, ye shall likewise all. perish. Ye shall all likewise perish. That's you can't right. tell us nothing that the Lord didn't tell us, man. That's the right. The Lord said if you don't repent, you will perish. That's right. And do you have any questions? You got questions? I just don't understand what you guys are talking about. You want to understand? Come check out this sign so we can tell you. Come look at the sign right here. So, what, what are you saying? Like, we we want to show you. The... We want to show you. Look at this sign right here. And I'm going to ask you all a question. Was this right of what happened to us? No, of course not. Of course not, right? Would you agree? Huh? Of course. So would it... Wait, I'm asking... Wait, is this, was this a good thing? No, I Of just course not. Her. Of course not, right? This is the right thing. This is not a right thing. So what people did this to us? Who did that to us? Was it Chinese we're people? Stupid. What people did it? What race of people? Stupid. Are y'all Jewish? Yeah. Yeah, I don't y know. Y'all are Jewish. Because y'all are not the real Jews. And the so-called Jewish people, the so-called white man, Caucasians, they financed the lumber for the slave ships. So you guys are the main partakers and putting us in captivity. So what's going? Oh, that is not true. That is very true. Do y'all know your history? What color are the real? What color? Of course. What color are the real Jews according to the Bible? What color are the Jews according to the Bible? What do you think that the Jews are white? Bring it up. Bring it up. Jeremiah chapter fourteen, verse two. So we're gonna know what color the real Jews are. Jews Jew the morning. And the gates thereof language. They are black. They are what? They, they are, are black. black. They are the real Jews. They, they are, are black. black. Are y'all black? Hell no. Read. Until but to the, the ground. ground. Read. And, and the, the cry of Jerusalem, Jerusalem has gone, gone up. The real Jews are so-called black people. They don't look like y'all. Y'all have right. no melanin. Y'all are right. pale skin. Y'all are red people. So how can y'all be the real Jews when the Bible says the real Jews are black people? So y'all are not, what does the word Jew mean? So y'all, look at this. Give me Revelation 2 and 9. Revelations. Chapter 2 and verse 9. So this is not for y'all. This is for the real Jews. Not imposters, not devils, not people <laughs> pretending to be the real Jews. And they, and they laughing. Read that. I know, I know that works, works and tribulation and, and poverty, but thou art rich. Read. And, and I know the blasphemy of them right. which say they are Jews. What? Which say they are Jews. Say that they Jews and what? And are not. And what? And are not. What are they? But are the synagogue of Satan. What are they? But are the synagogue of Satan. The book of God, Revelation. Hold on. God hates all so-called Jewish people. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Numbers chapter 24, man. Damn, devil. Damn, Numbers devil. 24. Get so out of here. Y'all going to have slavery according to the Bible. Identity theft. Right. And y'all are not the real Jews. So the Lord's going to kill all y'all according to the Bible. That's right. That's right. Numbers chapter 24 and 18. Bring it up. Numbers chapter 24 and verse 18. Bring it up. And Edom shall be a possession. Read. Seer also shall be a possession. So we're going to own Edom and your land. Read on. For his enemies and Israel shall do valiantly. Go on. Out of Jacob shall come he that shall have dominion. Right, Yahweh shall I read. It shall destroy him that remaineth of the cities. Go on. And when he look on Amalek. When he what? He look on Amalek. Yeah, what? He looked on Amalek. When we looking on Amalek, read. He took up his parable. And said what? It said Amalek was the first of the nations. Was the first of the nations, but what? But his latter end shall be that he perished but forever. That he what? That, that he, he perished forever. forever. What's gonna happen to him? That, that he, he perished forever. forever. They're gonna be exterminated off of the face of the earth. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's they are not the real Jews according to the Bible, man. That's, That's right. right. The real Jews went into slavery on slave ships. Right. The real right. Jews are so-called brown-skinned people, man. Get out. The real Jews are the real children of God. Nowhere right. in the Bible can you read about so-called, the real Jews looking like so-called white people, man. That's yeah, how right. would they call Jesus Christ is a Jew? He's a black man according to the Bible. Right? Right. Jeremiah, Ezekiel, all of the prophets are so-called black people according That's to the Bible. Right. That's right. So how could they be the real Jews? They don't even know what the word Jew means. Give me Exodus 17 and 15. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 17 and verse 15. Bring it out! And Moses built an altar and called the name of it Yahweh Nasi. Read. For he said, because the Lord have sworn that the Lord will have war with Amalek. That he will what? Have war, war with, with Amalek. Amalek. So their real nationality, according to the Bible, is Amalek, man. That's right. Everybody on the earth has a God-given nationality. Right. If you say that you're Jew-ish, the suffix I-S-H means what? Yeah. Pertaining to, right? In like manner of. Right. Like red-ish, yellow-ish, girl-ish. How can you be Jew-ish? We have to be born by blood. Right. 
So the real Jews are the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We're the real children of God, and we're waking up in these last days. That's right. If you see yourself in that sign, you are the real Jews according to the Bible. That's right. Your God shows the people. If you look like Esau, then you're going to get destroyed according to the Bible. That's right. That's right. Slavery. You're going to right. kill her son, take her captive, and kill her daughter, man. That's right. That's what I said the Lord. He it's the most high as a man of war, man. Right. Read that again. He will have what? For he said, because the Lord have sworn that the Lord will have war with Amalek Read. from generation to generation. Go on. I just said, give me that. Ezekiel 7, 21. Ezekiel chapter 7, verse 21. Get that Exodus 15 and 3. This is the book of Exodus chapter 15 and verse 3. People think God is all love. God is all peace. They see that in the Bible. Oh, God is going to have war with Amalek. I thought God loved everybody, man. I thought God was all hugs. I thought God was all kisses. Let me see that sign, Baba Kishon. This is the God that the people of the world know. They think this is the God that we're reading about in the Bible. When they look at this man and say, that's my God. That's my Jesus. Where in the Bible does it say God looks like a so-called white man? No, Where in the no Bible way. does it say God looks like John Travolta? Man? No, no way. Nowhere in the Bible does it say God looks like a so-called white man. No way. But everybody on the earth believes that this is the real image of God because a so-called white man set up this image during the Renaissance to see the earth, man. That's right. You read about the real image of the Messiah. He's a so-called black man according to the Bible. That's, That's right. right. That's thus said the Lord. And the Lord is not a nice God according to the Bible. That's read right. that Exodus 15 and 3. This is the book of Exodus. Chapter 15 and verse 3. Bring it out! The Lord is a man of war. God is about hearts. The Lord is a man of war. He's all kisses. The Lord is a man of war. That's in the Bible? The Lord is a man of war. The God of the Bible is a man of war, man. What happens in war? People die. Heads get chopped off. People get taken into captivity. Right. Nations get ravished, man. So the Lord is a man of war, and the Lord proclaimed in Exodus, he put an oath on it that he will have war with Amalek from generation to generation, man. That's right. So they will be taken into captivity according to the Bible because they put us in captivity and after a thousand years, you're not going to see no more white people on the earth, man. That's no right. more white Edomites are ever going to be on the earth. You better look at them now because after a thousand years, you're not going to see them no more, man. That's right. They're going extinct according to the Bible. Right. Take a good look at them and behold the devil according to the earth and they will not be here no more, man. That's right. The Lord said in the book of Job that I that seeth him shall see him no more, man. Get Obadiah 1 and 18 and read that. Exodus 15 and 3, one more time. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 15 and verse 3. Go on. The, the Lord, Lord is a man of war. war. Read. The Lord is his name. So his name is the Lord, man. Give me that and um, I'm there, I'm there. bring it up. Obadiah, verse 18. Right. In the house of Jacob shall be a fire. The Lord say, in the, the house, house of Jacob, Jacob shall be a fire. Who is the house of Jacob? The people in this sign. Look carefully on this sign. You would be God's chosen people. Hold it up, brother. If you're not on this sign, you are not God's chosen people. That's you right. can forget about it. You're going to get destroyed when the Lord comes back. So the house of Jacob shall be a fire. Go on. And the house of Joseph a flame. The rest of the Israelites a flame. Read. And the house of Esau for stubble. And what? And the house of Esau for stubble. Look at the vampires and the devils and the what? In the house of Esau for stuff. Who's Esau according to the Bible? The so-called white man. The who's so called white man. Who's Esau? The so-called white man. The so-called white man according to the Bible. That's right. So Esau is going to be known as stubble according to the Bible. You do not find the word white in the Bible or black people in the Bible. Everybody on the earth has a God-given nationality, and you so-called white people, you devils, y'all are known as Esau according to the Bible. That's, That's right. right. The Lord is setting us up to proclaim your judgment in these last days. How did you get this land? You stole it, right? How did you, how did we come over here? You put us in slavery. That's Is there a judgment coming for y'all for that? Hell yeah. Bring it out. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire. Read. And the house of Joseph a flame. Read. And the house of Esau for, for stubble. Go on. And they shall kindle in them. We shall kindle in them. And devour them. And devour them. And there shall be, be and there shall not be any, any remaining, remaining of the, the house, house of Esau. Esau. And there shall what? There not shall not be any remaining, remaining of the house of Esau. Esau. For I have spoken this. For, For the, the Lord, Lord has spoken this. No, we up here making it up. For, For the, the Lord, Lord has spoken. spoken For the Lord said, according to the Holy Bible, that there will be no more Edomites after a thousand years, man. That's right. right. You guys are born extinct according to the Bible. You guys killed 95% of all animals on the earth. 95% of the animals on the earth are extinct according to you rulership of the so-called white man. Damn devils. Y'all polluted the air. Y'all destroyed the ozone layer. Right. Y'all polluted the water. Y'all destroyed the whole earth, man. That's Give right. me Revelation 11 and 18. Bring it out. Revelation 51 to 25. chapter 11 and verse 18. Go on. 
And the nations were angry. And the what? And, and the, the nations, nations were angry. And everybody in the earth is fed up for you so-called white people, man. Everybody's fed up for y'all polluting the land, stealing identities, going into nations saying we're here for peace, but you're taking gold, taking oil. The whole nations of the earth are angry, read on. And their wrath is come. Read. In the time of the day. That they shall be judged. That they what? That, that they, they shall be judged. judged. That's that's be what? Right. They shall be judged. You all are getting judged right now according to the Bible. That's for right. your crimes and your sin on the earth, man. Go on. And that thou shalt give reward unto thy servant, the prophets, Read. and to the saints, and them that fear thy name, Go on. small and great, Read. and should it destroy them, which destroyed the, the earth. earth. That shit is what? Should it destroy them. them. Which destroyed, destroyed the, the earth. earth. The Lord is going to destroy y'all because y'all destroyed the whole earth. Right? Y'all destroyed the whole earth with chemtrails, all the pollution, right. the GMO. oil in the water, GMO, pesticides. Y'all put us in captivity. Y'all stole this land, war, what else? Mines. Mines, all of this, man. Y'all y'all polluted the whole earth. So the Lord has to destroy y'all, man. That's right. Bring it out, Jeremiah 51 and 25. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 51 and verse 25. Bring it out. Isaiah 24 and 5. Behold, I am against thee. O destroying mountain. I am what? I, I am against the O destroying mountain. mountain. The destroying mountain is America according to the Bible. That's the right. Lord is against America because America promotes sin on the earth. When God says don't do this, America says no, you can be a homosexual. You can be a transgender. You can be a pedophile, right? You can marry an Ain't animal, no right? No you, you can be a man with a woman, a woman with a man. You can have interracial relationship. Right. You can do whatever you want to do here in America. You can buy and sell today on the Sabbath. So all manner of sin is promoted on the earth. So the Lord is against America because they say what? And God we trust. Give me some right 129, man. Don't they sit that on the back of the dollar bill? That's right. Isn't that on the quarter? Ain't that on the half dollar? Don't they say in God we trust? What laws in the Bible is America keeping? What commandment and statute in the Bible does America keep? So America is a sinful nation according to the Bible. That's, right. That's why the Lord is going to destroy this wicked place and everybody in it. Get some right 129. Book of Sirach, chapter 1, verse 29. Go be not a hypocrite. What the Lord say? Be, be not, not a hypocrite. hypocrite. In America, be, be not, not a hypocrite. The Lord said, be not a hypocrite. Read. In, in the, the sight, sight of, of men. In the sight of all of the men on the earth, America is known as the hypocrite according yeah. to the Bible. Go on. And take good heed what thou speakest. And do what? And, and take, take good heed what thou speakest. Y'all should have taken good heed what y'all spoke. Y'all spoke and said that y'all God. Y'all spoke and said that y'all Jesus. Right. Y'all spoke and said that y'all the real Jews according to the Bible. Y'all should have took good heed what thou speakest. Nice. Right? Y'all blaspheming the name of the Lord. So the Lord is against America, the destroying mountain. Go on, read again from the top, Jeremiah 51, 25. <coughs> Behold, I am against thee, O oh, destroying the mountain, the Lord, saith the Lord, which destroys all the earth. Which did what? Which, which destroys, destroys all, all the, the earth. earth. You go, the whole earth is defiled, man. The whole earth is polluted, man. Go on, you can't even go to certain places on the earth because the air is too toxic, man. Right. You can't even drink out of water because the water's all polluted, man. That's right. Right, look at Flint, Michigan. They did tank, tank it and uh, uh, um, defiled the whole water, man. The so-called white man did that, man. He lied to everybody on the earth and gave them their own identities, man. When you have a God-given nationality according to the Bible. So they destroyed the whole earth. Read on. And I will stretch out my hand upon thee Read. and roll thee down from the rocks. Go on. And I will make thee a burnt mountain. It's going to be America. A burnt, burnt mountain. mountain. It's going to be a burnt mountain. That's so right. America, according to the Bible, is going to be destroyed in World War III. That's right. But you know, right. it's Armageddon. America is going to be wiped off the face of the earth. Nuclear missiles. Nuclear missiles. Intercontinental ballistic missiles are documented and found in the Bible. So the people in that sign, if they don't repent, you're going to die here in America. But if you're not on that sign, get ready for slavery. All of the so-called white people get ready for slavery according to the Bible. Right. Chinese man, East Indian man, the Arab man, That's right. African man, That's right. the Hawaiian man. If you're not an Israelite according to the Bible, prepare for slavery. That's prepare right. for judgment and prepare all hell is coming to y'all. That's right. That's right. Read on. Condemnation. Go on. Verse 26. Read. And they shall not take thee a stone for a corner. Right. Nor a stone for foundation. Because America's not going to get built up again. You're not going to have another renaissance. You're not going to be able to make America great again. Right, go on. But thou shalt be a desolation forever. For what? But thou shalt be desolate forever. So America's going to be desolate forever, man. So pan the camera, look at the skyscrapers. Look at the buildings. Look at the monuments. Look at the dragons. Look at all of the people of the earth. They're going to be desolate forever according to the Bible. That's right. Bring it out. Say the Lord. Say the Lord. Now give me the classic Revelation 13 and 9. Bring it Bring out. out the judgment, man. Bring out the judgment, Revelation 13 and 9. So it's high time for us to proclaim the true gospel in these last days, man. We're not no Christians. We're not up here. We're not in church. 
We're not no, no pastors asking for money. We're the servants of the Lord telling you what's That's gonna right. happen to this place for the crimes and for the sin and for the wickedness, man. That's right. Bring it up. Book of Revelation, chapter 13, okay. verse okay. 9. Bring it out. If any man have an ear, let him hear. The Lord say, if any man have an ear, let him hear. Go on. He that leadeth into captivity. He that what? He that leadeth into captivity. So let me ask you, what people put us in slavery? Now, now, now. Now, now nobody now. knows. Yeah, now now nobody knows, but they print the textbooks up. They just they make movies off of it. But nobody <laughs> on the earth can any so-called white person admit that they put us in slavery. Can y'all admit that? Can anybody admit that? Wow. Wow. Nobody wants to be white no more. Nobody wants to be Caucasian. If you were Caucasian, can you you so Asian, or you a heathen. You still wanted to captivity. Right. It don't matter. You still wanted to captivity. Asians had us in slavery too. Why are we equal? How do you believe the same? I'm gonna show you. We're better than you. When you believe, give me the do class. Yeah, I'm better than you. My brother and sister are from Ethiopia. It don't matter. It don't matter if you're from Ethiopia or Antarctica. Where in the Bible does it say we all equal? Where in the Bible does it say we're all equal? Where is it at? In the where does God say we all equal? Where is that at? Where is that at in the Bible? My brother and sister are the same race as you. What does it say we're all My equal according to the Bible? My brother and sister are the same race as you. So Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. Let's see what's in the Bible. For thou art holy, holy people unto the Lord thy God. Go on. The Lord thy God have chosen thee. The Lord has chosen us, not you. What color Read. do you believe? To be a special what people unto himself. Go on. Above all people. people. She said we are equal. Above all people. She said we all the same. Above all people. But we don't be, God don't respect you. Why? Give me Malachi 1 Why? and 3. Because God, he, 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 so far he, me. he created you to destroy you. To destroy you. Yes, that's what he right. right. You were created to be destroyed. That's right. That's you were created right. to go into slavery that's for a thousand wrong. years and then be destroyed. We tell you the judgment of God. We're telling you, but you're we tell you, wrong. We my tell you that said the Lord. My brothers, we are look, the same as you. We don't care. We bleed the same. Who bleeds? Read that. Malachi. Chapter 1, verse 3. Right? And I hated Esau. And I what? And I hated Esau. And I hated Esau. And I hated you so-called white people, man. And I hated Esau. That's what your creator told you. Your creator told you that he hates you. The spirit that made you told you he hates you. The heavenly father. He loves you. Why don't He said he because he created you to hate you. Because why? Because he wanted to. That's According to election. That's, that's in the Bible. Let me get it. Exactly. Romans 9 to 13. Let's prove it though. Let's that's not hold on, but we're not, we're not all the same. We're not all the same. We're not all the same. He does not say, I created Caucasian people to die. To be yes, terrible. To do this, to do that. Do you find the word Caucasian in the Bible? Do you find the word? Do you find the word Caucasian in the Bible? It doesn't matter. You are a so so-called Caucasians are known as Edomites. We are both the same. We're not the same. We just read that we. Hold on, hold on. How can we be the same when you don't have no melody? When you have recessive hold on. genes? Calm down. How can we be the same? That's right. Bring that up. That's biological think? fact. What? That we're more superior right. than you in everything. That's right. On a physical right. level. That's right. You got to put on sunscreen. You have recessive genes. Okay. So how are we the same? Bring it out. That's right. Come on, bring it out. How can the so-called white man? What can the white man do the same as us? Not not what are they better than us in anything? No. In anything, what are they better than us at? Yeah, How can they be better than us in anything? Where's your sunscreen at? Where's your sunscreen, Becky? Bring that up, man. Because you will burn up in the sun. Read that. Romans chapter 9, verse 13. Read it out. As it is written. Read. Jacob have I love. The Lord love everybody. Jacob have I love. Same precepts every week, but what? But Esau have I hate. No, God don't hate. But Esau have I hate. The Lord hates Esau. Who is Esau? The so-called white man, according to the Bible. That's right. God hates you. Let's figure out why. Read. 
What shall we say then? What shall you say then, right? Is it unrighteousness with God? Is God wrong for hanging her? God forbid. The Lord said, what? God forbid. He said, no, do what I want to do. Read. God forbid. Read. For he said to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. I will what? I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. The Lord had mercy on us. He didn't have mercy on y'all. Read. And I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. Read. So then, it is not of him that will it. It's not about what you do on the earth. No, of him that run it. Nor what you will do on the earth. But of God that showeth mercy. So it's up to the most how he proclaimed us to be the chosen. He proclaimed you to be the wicked according to the Bible. Give me Job 9 and 24. Give me Job 9 and 24. Job chapter 9. She read out the effing Bible? Ah. Job 9 and 24. So you have to get ready for slavery. That's according to the Bible. So your people did. We don't respect you though. We don't respect you. That's where so why do you wrong. tell us you respect us? That's why we. Why do you? Why do? You, why do you tell us that? You need to respect why do, us. Who, what's that? What's that? Why do I? 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 Why where but we gotta respect from? the so-called white woman. Are you from she Baltimore? She's actually commanding you where you from. Those dreads are not from Baltimore. Bring that up. Job chapter 9, verse 24. The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. Come on, come on. 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 You're the Why wicked. Can I respect you're the wicked. You and you you're the wicked. I don't respect you. I am the wicked. wicked. That's I'm disgusting. disgusting. I, I, I know you do. I know. I am the wicked. I know. I will. I will get what I want. I am the wicked. I don't know. Why are you worrying about that? I am. I am. Why can't you be like your friend right here? You are though. Just bring it out. It's in there. It's deep down in there. Get it out. It's deep in there. Get it out. Get it out. Exodus 2 and 25. Exodus chapter 2. Verse 25, right. and God looked upon the children of Israel, and God had respect unto them. No, he had respect unto them. Unto the children of Israel, Go on. God had respect unto them. So God has respect unto us, and we respect us, but we don't respect y'all. That's in the Bible. Nowhere in the Bible does it say we have to respect the other nations. Y'all were created to be our slaves, our right. servants, you're... our handmaids. Okay, hold on, That's hold, you on, hold on, hold on. You're preaching. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What? I'm respecting you and you're talking. Hold on, you're, I can hold on. Do you're can preaching. Do hold on. To to you're you, preaching. Right? This. You're an Edomite. Hold on. Right. Okay. Okay. Where did Bob listen to the Edomites? You're preaching. Since when do your slaves you have to listen you're to your slaves? You're preaching this because you're preaching this. Isaiah, Isaiah like chapter you. 40, you verse 17. You're going out. I, hold on, I want you to be like your friend. Cause she's I'm being not real. like my she's friend. She's being real. You I'm are. Like it's friend. in there. It's no, deep down I'm inside not. of you. It's I'm embedded not. in there. Bring it out. Come yeah, out. Bring it. Come out. Go to Come out of her. Go to Bring it out. Home. Isaiah, you chapter know. 40, verse 17. Go go All nations before him are as nothing. nothing. So we don't have to respect you because God said you're nothing. So we and they are counted of him less than nothing. They are what? Less than nothing. Than nothing. They are less than nothing. And right? vanity. And vanity. So nowhere in the Bible does it say we have to respect you, so-called white people. So, yeah. so, yeah. so we should beat your ass. We should fight you. We should hit you when I see you. No. You're right. Look at that. Look at that. Esau, man. Right. Right. According Esau, to the, Esau, Esau. Look, according to the Bible, okay. all so-called white people are going into captivity. Okay. Right. Right. What's so hard about that? What's so hard with accepting Let judgment according to the Bible? Let me switch all that to you You want to switch the word to the Bible again? Been, Give me that, man. Isaiah 14 and 1. Where does that make sense? Isaiah, Isaiah you don't chapter 14, you don't verse 1. We don't deserve to read the Bible? Uh, wow, read that, man. It came out. The way you're it came out. It came out. Why don't we deserve to read the Bible? Because the way you're translating it is not right. We're translating the Bible. Into what language are we translating? Did he say Caucasian people are shit? We deserve yes. to not. Yes, we just read that. <laughs> we just read out the Bible. Read that to me right now. Go back to uh, Where it Romans. says Caucasian people They're, don't deserve Caucasians life, are known are as shit. Edomites, according Read. to the Bible. No, no, no. You, Edomites. That's you your term. You. Edomite. Let me look it up. Bring it up. It's Romans 9. Again. Bring it out. Let me get 7. All right. Bring it out. Romans chapter 9. Verse 7. So you don't, like, to clarify for everybody listening, you don't find the word so American is, black in the Bible. You don't religion? find the term West Indian black. You don't find the term Haitian in the Bible. Shut the fuck Those up. are man-made terms. Oh, right. Whoa. Oh. You 
don't find those terms in the Bible. Because the so-called white man gave us those terms. Right? Get up. Go on, bring it up. Romans, I mean, Romans chapter 9, verse 7. Read. Neither because they are the seed of Abraham are they all children. Just because you come out of Abraham's seed line don't make you a child of God. Read. But in Isaac shall thy seed be called. You have to come out of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob to be considered a child That's of God. Right. Read. That is they so which are the children of the flesh. If you do not own their son, you're a child of the flesh. So my dad These is flesh. These are not the so children of God. So the Lord say, so These are, are not the, the children of God. God. We are children of God. These are not the, the children of God. God. So you're not a child of God according to the Bible. Okay, so my dad Read is flesh. So but the children of part. the promise are counted for the seed. You're the children of the wicked but according to the Bible. You I'm are the wicked. Your spirit, black, your spirit is the wicked. Your spirit is the wicked. Your spirit has the spirit of Satan on you. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. She just said she was Asian. Right. Now she's biracial. She's the open. She's the wicked. She wanted clean. She clean her heart, man. She clean her heart, man. We don't believe you. What is your religion? Come on, I'm trying to clean it. What is your religion? You are. Be like your friends. I'm not a Satan. Be like your friends. I'm not a Satan. You are. I'm not. You are. You believe God is a black man? I do. You believe Jesus is a black man? I do. Do you believe, do you believe everybody else is going to slavery when Christ comes back? I believe they will live in a world of hell, Hold on. but I, I don't believe slavery. slavery. No, slavery. I don't. So you're a Satanist. You don't believe that in the Bible? I'm not a Satanist. You said you don't believe that, but it's in the Bible. That would make you a Satanist. Tell me. No, actually, Isaiah 14. Read it. Read it Isaiah, to me. Isaiah, chapter 14, verse 1. So let's see what happens. Go on. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. Have mercy on everybody. On no, Jacob. The Lord will have Jacob. mercy on Jacob, the Israelites. Exactly. Not you, right? And will exactly. yet choose Israel. And yet choose us. Uh -huh. And set them in their own land. Back in our own land, Israel. And the strangers shall be joined with them. The strangers is everybody not in that sun. You will be a stranger no matter if you're that Ethiopian, Asian, me. white, it don't matter. That's so if you're not on that sun, you'll be a stranger. What makes you different? What makes you different? And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. They shall what? They shall cleave to the house of Jacob. They shall what? They shall cleave to the house of Jacob. They shall cleave to the house of Jacob. Go on. And the people shall take them. Come on, ask them to come with us. Shall take them. Bad car to come with us. Shall take yes, them. man, he really gonna take you, man. And they shall take you, go on. And bring them to their place. Come on, bring you to the land of Israel. Read. And the house of Israel shall possess them. Shall what? Shall possess, possess them. They're gonna own you. Read. In the land of the Lord. In the land of Israel. For servants. For what? For servants. For what? For servants. For what else? And, and, and what? And they shall take them captives. Who's captive they were? They're going to take you captive according to the Bible. Read. And they shall rule over the oppressors. So, do you, do you believe that? That you're going to be taken captive? So she's a Satanist. No, 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 you said out your own mouth. No, give me that. Give me the uh, Job chapter thirty-three. That's right? not true. You don't believe in the Most High. You're making the Bible the You don't believe in the Most High. Give me Psalms fourteen and one. Psalms chapter fourteen and one. Ethiopia. You don't believe no. in the Bible. If you knew your, you you knew your stuff, Ethiopia. What does the word Ethiopia mean? It means my brother and sister. Oh actually. my goodness, she don't know no, what it means. No, but hold on. Come on, no, if no, you know no, what it no, means. No, 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 Read that, on. man. Hold on. So she, she means my slaves. brother and sister. They were Bring slaves. They were slaves. So why are they not equal call? as you? 233, I didn't hear. No, no, no. Go to, uh, okay. go to Malachi. Malachi. Malachi 1 and 4. Right, yeah, right, right. she about to say Africa. Get, oh, get your racism out. Bring it out. Just let it out. I'm not racist. You are. All so-called white people are racist according to the Bible. Okay, so aren't, you so aren't you for your people? Aren't you for your people? What? Are you for your people? I'm for everybody. But everybody's not for you. We're not for you. Well, that's your problem. No, that's that's what God that's said. What's wrong with God is against you. When you go to God, to the Bible. And you get to the gates of heaven. What's God's name? Stuck. What's God's name? I'm gonna be stuck in the you're kingdom. Gonna that's right. right. You're gonna be stuck in the kingdom. Right. You're gonna be stuck no, as a slave. He said, we shall all love each other Where is it no at in the Bible? The, Where is that at? No matter what. What does it say that no in the Bible? What, what does okay, it say that? Hold on, hold on. Give me no, first no, people in the Bible. No, what does it say we should all love each other in the Bible? You are splitting black and white. No word. What does it say that in the Bible? No word. What does it say we all supposed to be one in the Bible? No word. It's not in there. Okay. Show me in the Bible where it says that. Show me in the Bible where it says that. No, I should not. I have six brothers from Ethiopia that are starving. We don't care. That's judgment by God. That's right. God is starving now, man. That's right. The Lord feeds the people, man. Read that. You see, Shouldn't about to say you can't speak English. You speak. Come on. 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 Come on.
Matthew, chapter 13. You don't even know say you can't speak English. You can't look. Matthew 25, 31. Later, the racism is coming up. It's coming up. Matthew 25, verse 31. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory, right? And all the holy angels with him. Read. Then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. Go on. And before him shall be gathered all nations. So when the Lord, what they call Jesus Christ, comes back, everybody in the earth is going to be gathered before him. Read on. And he shall separate them. Are we all supposed to be together? Read that. He shall what? And he shall separate them. Are we all supposed to be together? And he shall separate them. And he shall separate them. He shall separate them. Read. One from another. That we all together. One from another. One big happy family. One from another. Separate one from another. All the nations. Go on. No. He didn't say separate black and white. He said Divide of his sheep from the goat. Go on. He shall set the sheep on his right hand. He shall what? He shall set the sheep on his right hand. People in his son that repent of the lost sheep, you're going to be given the kingdom. Read. But the goats on the left. You're a goat. You're going to be on the left hand side. These are the people that preach about racism and y'all are racist. Because God, God, God racist. God is not racist. Give me, God give me first class. Hold on. If God was racist, he wouldn't have made you. He wouldn't have made me. He wouldn't have made me. We want to show, we want to show everybody out out here that God is racist. God is Bring out the shotgun. Bring out the shotgun. We want to show you. Can we read it? Can we read that God is racist? Let me ask you one thing. We're going to read that God is racist. Okay, you can't ask you one thing. You lied. You said God is not racist. Hold on. You said that. Okay, all right. You lied. So we have to be prove you a liar. Okay, when you prove me, hold on. No one Book of second answers. Chapter 5, verse 20. Bring it out. Chapter 6. Verse 54. Verse 54. So she Bring said, God is not racist according to the Bible. Let's show you what the Bible says. Let's go. Okay. And after these, Adam also, Lord. whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, right? of him come we all. What the Lord say? Of, of him, him come we all. all. So everybody on the earth, seven billion people on the planet, they come out of Adam. The Lord say, <laughs> and the people also whom who thou hast chosen. And the people in his son, they come out of Adam too. Go right. on. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sake. He did what? Thou made the world for our sake. God made the world for everybody. For our sake. God said he made this whole planet Earth for our sakes, man. He made y'all to be our slaves. He made the clouds, the sky, the trees. Everything on the Earth was made for our sakes. That's right. As for the other people. As for what? As for the other people. As for who? As for the other people. As for y'all, y'all would be the other people. The people not in the sun, they would be the other people. Hold on, hold on. Why are you the other people? Because we're the chosen. We're better than you. That's right. Which also come of Adam. You come from Adam too. You went, Thou hast said that they are nothing. That, what? That, that, they are nothing. Are nothing. that they are what? They, they are, are nothing. nothing. No, you see something. They, they are nothing. She's special. You they are nothing. God said you're nothing. That's you're racist. Nothing. God said we're better than you. And everybody else God said nothing. I'm better than you. Come on now. You're Satan according hey, to the Bible. No, I'm not. You're a pure Satan. You're, you're like your friend. Me. I'm better than you. Oh, that's your racism like, coming up. I'm not a Satan. You just said you're better than us. You just said you weren't free yet, man. You're racism coming up. But be like us as Go on. And has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. Go on. And now, O oh Lord, behold these heathen. These what? These, these heathen. heathen. These, these heathen. These dogs. These, these heathen. heathen. Go on. Which have ever been reputed as nothing. Go on. Have begun to be lords over us and to devour us. There you go. So lo and behold, the Lord is racist and said, if you're not on this sign, you are nothing according to the Bible. Right. Let me right. say right. 7 to 23. Give me Amos 3 and 1. If you no. do not see yourself on this sign, you so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, God says that you are nothing. You're a spittle. Right? Bring it up. Second Samuel chapter 7, verse 23. Right? No. And what one nation in the earth it's like that people. Hold on, so God made 18 nations of people on the earth, but he said, what one nation is like the Israelites, man? Go on. Even like Israel, Read. whom God went to redeem for a people to himself, Go on. and to make him a name, and to do for you great things and terrible Go on. for thy land, before thy people, which thou redeemest to thee from Egypt, Go on. from the nations and their gods. Read. It's lucky. But thou hast confirmed this to says thyself. The, the Most has confirmed to himself, read. Thy people Israel to be a people unto thee forever. For how long? Forever. So where is people forever, man? He didn't say everybody's my people forever, man. He said the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, those are my people forever, man. 
Give me Amos 3 and 1. Amos chapter 3 and 1, man. Back to the basics. Go to 1 Chronicles chapter 16 and 13. So nowhere in the Bible does it say God is the God of everybody. That God loves everybody. That God wants us all to be together, man. The God that she's talking about, lo and behold, this man right here. That's the God that she's talking about. This is the God that she said we all want. Where in the, in the Bible does it say God looks like this? Right? What is it in the Bible that God looks like a so-called white man? Brad Pitt, John Travolta. That's right. Leonardo DiCaprio. Right? Uh, uh, Bruce Wayne. Right? The Lord don't look like this, man. Right? The Lord don't look like that. So the Lord said what? Bring it up. First Chronicles chapter 16, verse 13. Right? Oh, you see of Israel. His servant, right? ye children of Jacob, his chosen ones. His what? His, his chosen, chosen ones. His chosen ones, man. The seed of Jacob are his chosen ones, man. Right. How can everybody be his chosen? They said the seed of Jacob is his chosen ones, man. Give me Amos 3 and 1. This is the book of Amos, chapter 3 and verse 1. So people on? don't know the most high, man. People think God love everybody. God is for everybody. He's all hugs and and kisses, there's no in the scripture, bring it up. Hear this word that the Lord have spoken against you, O children of Israel, the Lord. against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, you only have I known. What the Lord say? You, you only have I known. I know everybody. You, you only have I known. I'm the God of the whole earth. You, you only have I known. When I say you only have I known. Right. right, when Moses delivered the law, statutes, and commandments, did he go to everybody on the earth? Did he go to every planet, I mean every nation, right, every state, every country? He went to the children of Israel, man. The Lord only knows those people in that side. Coming out of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob seed line. Read on. You only have I known of all the families of the earth, right? Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. So the Lord is going to punish us for our iniquities because he knows us. Right. We're being held accountable for the transgressions of our forefathers, man. Bring it up. Verse 3, can two walk together except they be agreed? The Lord said what? Can two, two walk, walk together, together except, except they be agreed? Wait, how can the Israelites and the Most High walk together unless we agree? Right? Unless we agree, we're going to keep the laws, commandments. Right? We're going to keep the statutes. Go on. Verse 4, will a lion roar in the forest when he have no prey? Right? Will a young lion cry out of his den if he have taken nothing? Can a bird fall in a snare upon the earth? Right? Where no gin is for him, shall one take up a snare from the earth and have taken nothing at all? Go on. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Go on. Shall there be evil in a city and the Lord have not done so it? So the Lord said, when you see the trumpet blowing, the people should be afraid, man. The people that want that sign, they should be afraid of the judgment that's coming, man. That's right. Because they didn't repent and keep the commandments. Right? But if you believe in the Most High, you have your faith, there's no reason to be afraid, man. And the Lord said he's the one that causes evil in the city, man. When there's crime on the earth, when there's bloodshed and murder and killing and genocides on the planet, the Heavenly Father does that, man. He's the one that kills people on the earth, man. That's right. Give me that first Samuel chapter 2 and 6. Give me Psalms chapter 68 and 20, man. So people don't know the most high, man. They think that the Satan killed my baby. Or the devil took him away from me. No, the Heavenly Father did that because right. it was wicked, man. And that's their lie and that's their judgment. Bring it up. Psalms. Chapter 68 and verse 20. Right. He that is our God is the God of salvation. Right. And it's to the God, so like, and it's to God the Lord belong to the issues from death. Belong to what? The issues from death. death. So to our God, he kills people, man. When people die, that belongs to the Heavenly Father, man. No matter how you die, whether it's a gruesome death or it's a natural sleep death, the Lord killed you, man. So all of the so-called white people and the other nations, the two-thirds of our people, the Lord is going to give you the issues of death, man. He's going to put you down for you to be built against the heavenly problem. Bring it up. This is the book of 1 Samuel, chapter 2 and verse 6. Bring it out. Give me Deuteronomy 32 and 39. All right, bring it up. Bring that up. The Lord killeth and maketh alive. The Lord said what? The Lord killeth and maketh alive. So God, he's the one that kills people, man. He makes alive. Go on. He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. Right. The Lord maketh poor and maketh rich. Read. He bringeth low and lifteth up. Now bring that up. Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 39. Bring it up. See now that I, even I, am he, and there is no God with me. Right. I kill. I what? I, I kill. kill. The Lord do. I, I kill. kill. It's in the Bible. God said he kills people, man. 
go on. And I make a love. And he makes a love. He's making a love to Israelites, man. Through the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, man. Go on. I wound and I heal. Right. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my head. So people don't know the most high, man. They think of y'all Hershey Kisses, cotton candy, jumping jacks, tic-tac-toe, hopscotch, right? The Lord is not into hopscotch, man. The Lord is into judgment, man. <laughs> the Lord is into executing his fierce wrath on the children of men. Bring it up. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 45 and verse 7. Bring it up. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I do what? I and create evil. evil. I create evil. The Lord makes evil on the earth. That's right. What's evil? People getting raped, that's evil. Nations getting stolen, that's evil. People getting famines, that's evil. Pestilence is evil. Right? People getting shot in drive-bys, that's evil. The Lord does all of the evil on the planet, man. Go on. I, the Lord, do all these things. He does all those things, so the Most High is balanced, man. The Lord deals with just weights and balances. He the ones that makes evil on the earth, man. Bring it up. Psalms, chapter 66 and verse 5. Come and see the works of God. He is terrible in his doing toward the children of men. He is what? Terrible in his doing toward the children of men. So the Most High is terrible, man. We brought that out last night. The Most High is a terrible, fierce power, man. I'll show you the terrible, like, power, man. So the Most High is terrible toward the children of men. That's what she said. People are starving in Ethiopia. The Lord did that, man. Because he's terrible to them, man. Uh, um, Sabrak 33 and 14. No, no, you did that first. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 33 and verse 14. Right? Yeah. Good is set against evil. There you go again. The Lord said, I said, good against evil, right? And life against death. That's being balanced. Go on. So is the godly against the sinner. So is the godly. We're the godly. We're against the sinners, man. Against the wicked, the two-thirds of our people and other nations. So is the godly against the sinner, read. And the sinner against the godly. And the sinner against the godly. Now bring it up. Job chapter 4 and verse 7. Remember, I pray thee, that daddy shall perish being innocent. What the Lord say? Whoever perished being innocent. The Lord said, whoever perished being innocent, man. Nobody died innocent. Oh, that was an innocent baby that died. Oh, he was two years old. He didn't do nothing wrong. He didn't get to go to high school graduation. He didn't go to prom. Right, he was at the wrong place, wrong time. The Lord said, whoever perished being innocent. Go on. Or where were the righteous cut off? Was that a so-called Jew? And where what? And where were the righteous cut off? And where were the righteous cut off? What did the Lord say after that? Even as I have seen, but they that plow iniquity and sow wickedness reap the same. There you go. You plow and sow wickedness, you're going to get it right back. Because you died for what you did on your past lives often, man. Huh? Bring that out. Give me Psalm chapter 65 and 5. You got to preach up. You brought it out already. So the Most High is executing judgment on the earth, man, by bringing evil on the planet, man. He brings good by waking up the Israelites, and he balances out by bringing it down to Edomites, man. So the Mosai deals with balance, man. Bring it